Hello YouTube, today I have a video to show you how to set up the two axis ELS. So you go to parameters, you choose the unit or the feed unit. We already we have already seen that on the previous video. Um, you have to I'll show on the lathe. You have to choose the check teeth, set the check teeth. Check teeth is the number of teeth here. It's the teeth that is on the spindle. Okay. Next, the encoder teeth. Encoder teeth is the number of teeth. If you have a pulley, it's the same here on the encoder. Then encoder step and direction. We have we, we've seen that before. Z motor teeth here it's 20. It's the number of teeth on the motor here. The Z lead screw teeth is the number of teeth here on the gear that is linked to the lead screw here. Okay. Z lead screw type and Z lead screw pitch is the pitch of your lead screw. It can be in two square inches or millimeters. X motor teeth and X lead screw teeth is over there. You don't see it, but for me it's a ratio of one to two. The type of your lead screw here on the x-axis can be millimeters or tooth per inches. Z backlash is the backlash of your lead screw here on the carriage. Okay, you have to measure it with um, a caliper like this. X backlash is the backlash of the on this way the x-axis okay okay so when everything is set up you need to check that all your parameters are okay for the x well we'll see the z first for the z-axis you need to use the caliper it's better you put it to zero put the dro to zero okay if it's not zero just press on d and Z and press the center it will is zero the, the Z okay and just here you choose let's say one millimeters and you go left and one millimeters and it goes to one okay this is one millimeter so that means all the the gear of the lead screw the motor teeth um, the everything on the z axis is okay then you do the same on the x axis so you need to zero the x this is to disable the x when it's red press again and now you can set the dro or reset if you push the center here zero exit and now you can ask to move to one millimeters already set the caliper and goes, it's almost one millimeter, okay? Almost because um, there's there can be any uh, play on the on the motor, on the pulley, on many many parts. So I would say it has to be right at two or three percent. It depends on your on your setup. Now we'll see how to set up the optional handwheel. So you go to parameters at the end and check the z1 turn sorry the z1 turn and x1 turn so here i have 10 on z and x and one on x okay so for the x if i move one click 
on my hand wheel, it will move. I have to exit. When I when we are no parameters, everything is disabled. So if I move from one click, it will move of one millimeter. Okay. And on the Z, exactly the same. Heat set to 10 on the Z, Z1 turn. The, so that means it should move off 10, 0 0.10 millimeters if I just move the hand wheel off one click. And again, I have to exit. Okay. Zero after 10. Okay. Now we are going to check that everything is okay on the spindle. Um, so you go to Angular mode. You need to check somewhere where you are on the, on the spindle. You make one turn. Here I am. And you see it's 360. So that means all this part is okay. Now we are going to see the turn mode. It's uh, the most simple, the, the one you're going to use all the time. So it's it's just a general ELS. So here you have the feed speed. Let's put it at 10. Okay, if I start the length, the speed here is 0.1. One. Okay. If I go faster, I can choose the speed. Okay. Let's see the free mode now. When you select the free mode, if I start the lathe, the lead screw doesn't move. Okay, that's the free mode. Okay, so I stop it. But in this free mode, you can move all the axes as you want. Okay, with the arrow or with the hand wheel, and the same. I have to engage. Okay. So on the free mode, you can move freely the, the two axes as you want, but it doesn't listen to the encoder. So now we are going to make a simple turn. So you go to program here. Okay, shape. Here you have to choose your shape. It can be one axis thread, turn, thread, or taper. Thread is external thread. So you choose turn. The length of turn in millimeters because we are in millimeters. Okay. Uh, the depth of cut in millimeters, 0 0.10. The number of passes. Uh, final pass if you want. That's just one pass at the end. You won't do it right now um total cut be careful it's not on uh, it's radius it's not diameter uh feed speed um if you don't set the feed speed it will take the one um that was already on the, on the in the unit um you can change it live anyway and chamfer we we will see that later on the chamfer okay so you save and exit. Okay. So here on program, make run. You have to touch the Z. Okay. So we'll start the lathe. Okay. Um, I will touch.
on the Z. Okay. Now press on Z. Now you have to touch. On the X axis. Okay. Now press on X. And just press start. This is the first pass of 10 millimeters. Second pass. This is very light pass anyway. Third one. This is not enough. Number four. Okay, and now if you want, you can make another one on, of the depth of cut you have here. Okay, let's say one more. You will do one more. Okay. You can stop, of course. You can start, there's no way. You can change the feed speed if you want. Let's say we're going to do another pass at 0 0.10 and just a pass of, um, sorry, the pass, the depth of cut, you have to change it on the up and down arrow, okay, here. So you change it, let's say 0 0.15, one more again. That's it. Okay, when you're done, click on exit.